dear students good morning to each one of you welcome to this digital classes of chemistry as in my last video it was uh, uh, told you about the defects in solids so after this today i'm here with my last topic of this unit that is properties of solids electric and magnetic properties so let's start digital classes under theme samay dasi bara wala har gharbani parshala the name of subject is chemistry and this is unit first solid state class plus 2 so let's start but as usual let's start with the positive mindset okay so dr apj abdul kalam according to him confidence and hard work is the best medicine to kill the disease called failure it will make you a successful person so dear students i will not tell too much you know very well about dr apj abdul kalam the quotation he told it was he proved also as confidence and hard work these are the two keys we have the best medicine to kill the disease called failure those people who are not achieving nothing in their life not achieving anything in their life if they are not confident first and they are not hard work so i appeal to you all you just inculcate these two values inside you one be always confident and start whatever you are doing with the full of your uh, potential and with full of your hard work so definitely you will be become a successful person in life so let's start the recap five matter uh, five states of matter we did solid state chapter we are doing classification we did crystal lattice and unit cell about we did did and calculation of number of atom we studied packing packing efficiency we discussed all the numerical related density we did in perfection in solid and defect in solid we did so today we are doing properties of solid electrical and magnetic properties so as in defects of solid we did so just a quick recap defects in solid impurity defect there is three type of defect we studied in detail impurity defect stoichiometry defect non stoichiometry defect stoichiometry defect is of following four types schottky defect franke defect vacancy defect interstitial defect and non stoichiometry defect divided into metal excess defect and metal deficient defect although the classification is given in the simple way but if you have done in detail so you i hope so you come to know ki what is the meaning of defect so let's start with the properties of solid there are generally two type of properties electrical properties and magnetic properties electric properties generally uh generated by movement of electrons dear students again electric property whatever things is good conductor of electricity which is conductivity which has conductivity you can go through in your daily life that so many things we are using even we are using this mobile it is also it means that conductor some electrons are conducting that property is called electric conductivity magnetic property is due to the generation of spin and orbital as you know that electron are revolving around the nucleus it is not only revolving it is a rotating also so revolution and rotation property is giving magnetic property in solids so let's discuss electric property is further divided into three type of property conductor insulator and semiconductor so semiconductor we will study in two way intrinsic and extrinsic extrinsic also further divided into two way n type and p type magnetic property of solid are basically three type diamagnetic paramagnetic and ferromagnetism ferromagnetism is having domain so three type of domain ferromagnetism anti ferromagnetism and ferrimagnetism so let's start in detail before going to start as you know in science until we will not relate it with the wh family what is this why is this how is this where is this when is this so then it is little bit incomplete and without base nothing is going to be become strong so you have to make your base strong so let's study the facts about properties of solid why we are studying the properties of solid there is why why is solid exhibit an interest interesting range of variation of electrical conductivities yes interesting range of variation of electrical conductivity it is extending over 27 order of magnitude ranging we will study in future and uh, these are 10 raised to power minus 20 to 10 raised to power 7 ohm inverse meter inverse and how suppose in conductor the range is 10 raised to power 4 to 10 raised to power 7 ohm uh, inverse meter inverse in semiconductor it is uh, 10 raised to power minus 6 to 10 raised to power 4 and in insulator it is from 10 to the power minus 20 to 10 to the power minus 10 okay so let's discuss in detail electric property of solid so first electric property of solid is conductor so the conductor is the solid which allow the passage of electric current are called conductor which allow the passage of electric current so there are two type of electric electric conduct, uh, conductor one is a metallic conductor which is conducting electricity through the metal 
through the metal mean all the metals they are good conductor of electricity we studied in 10th class so that is uh, why they are good conductor of electricity because the movement of electron is possible inside the metal second is electrolyte which is in molten state in liquid conduct electricity when uh, the molten aqueous is breaking down into ions positive and negative ions so these positive and negative ions are making the conductivity possible okay so the range is 10 to the power 4 to 10 to the power 7 as already we studied <coughs> second is insulator the solid which do not allow the passage of basically non metals 10 to the power minus 20 to 10 to the power minus 10 is the range and third type is semiconductor semiconductor is between conductor and insulator okay so we it mean that we, uh, it is not fully conductor it is not fully insulator yes some of the insulator we can conduct uh, convert it into conductivity the solid whose conductivity lies between conductor and insulator are called semiconductor as range is 10 to the power minus 6 to 10 to the power 4 it is in between the most insulator and conductor okay so effect of temperature is there any effect of temperature yes increase in temperature as the temperature will increase the conductivity of metal will decrease it means that conductor is becoming semiconductor so increase in temperature the conductivity of metal decreases while that the semiconductor increases and the difference in electric conductor behavior of conductors insulator semiconductor can be explained with the help of band model so uh, if we need to uh, differentiate the electric conductivity of conductor insulator semiconductor so we need to go through the band model in detail so this pdf i will share in that it is it will be given so what is band theory basically it is metal conduct electricity in solid as well as in molten state you know metal conduct electricity in solid as well as in molten state the conductivity of metal depend upon the number of valence electron available per atom as you know that in outermost shell when electrons are balanced so it mean that these electrons can move from one shell, one uh, atom to another atom okay as noble gas is not sharing any electron so that because of that it is conducting the atomic orbital of metal atom form molecular orbital which are so close if you need to study about band you have studied atomic orbital theory and molecular orbital theory in plus 1 so this is related to that if this band is partially filled or it is overlapping with higher energy unoccupied conduct band then electron can flow easily under an applied electric field and the metal shows conductivity this conductivity is because of this band if band is partially filled or overlapping if two electrons two shells are overlapping to each other it means that somewhere it will conduct the electricity okay if the gap between filled valence band is uh, next higher unoccupied band then it is large and electron cannot jump to it and some such a substance has very small conductivity and it behave as an insulator okay so semiconductor semiconductor is uh, intrinsic semiconductor is intrinsic conductor and extrinsic conductor it is two type so first semiconductor intrinsic conductor pure silicon and germanium dear student let me tell you silicon and germanium these are the two metalloid which is behaving like semiconductor and these are poor conductor but due to increase in temperature it can conduct electricity as uh, you know very well uh, silicon chip in mobile also silicon chip is using and in laptop also silicon chip is using so silicon and germanium are poor conductor but due to increase in temperature it can conduct electricity so it contain equal number of positive hole and negative electron because of that it become intrinsic intrinsic mean inside internal so we are just uh, increasing the energy and uh, making it conductor extrinsic semiconductor it is not from inside somewhere from external source we need to add something so it is conductivity can increase by adding external impurities and these external impurities are called doping okay and we will study about doping there are two type of because of doping there are two type of uh, um, extrinsic semiconductor electron rich electron defect electron rich is basically coming from donor group like 15 to 14 for 15 group number 15 in periodic table group number 15 to group number 14 and in except electron defect it is except group number 13 to group number 14 so let's study doping the conductivity of these intrinsic semiconductor is too low to be a practical use their conductivity is increasing by adding an appropriate amount of suitable impurity only this process is called doping and dear student this definition is asking so many time in exam what is doping so this is the process in which we are increasing the conductivity by adding some appropriate amount of impurities doping can be done with an impurity which is electron rich and electron deficient as compared to the intrinsic semiconductor in silicon or germanium such impurity introduce electronic defect in them so two type of semiconductor intrinsic extrinsic we studied the two type of semiconductor is coming in front of us after extrinsic like electron rich impurities electron rich impurities it is those group which is already having extra electron and uh, from there it we can take take electron to make it conductor silicon and germanium belong to group 
of the periodic table and have four valence electron as in carbon group it is so four electron in outermost shell in their crystal each atom form four covalent bond with its neighbor so when doped with group 15 group 15 is phosphorus group and which contain five valence electron it is just next to the 14 if you recall the periodic table you know 14 group have four electron in outermost shell 15 group have five electron five mean one extra so they occupy some of the lattice site on silicon and germanium crystal the four out of five electron are used in formation of four covalent bond to make it octate and the one fifth electron is extra that is becoming delocalized and this delocalization electron increase the conductivity of doping uh, which is making its semiconductor to conductor here the increase in conductivity is due to the negatively charged electron yes one extra electron is there out of four out of five four electron making bond one electron left that is one extra electron negatively charged electron that's why it is called electron rich impurity and n type of semiconductor n word full form of n is negative negative is electron okay similar way opposite p type semiconductor is electron deficit so it is mean silicon and germanium can also be doped with the groups 13 as it is boron group boron aluminium and gallium which contain only three valence it is just before the carbon group so it means that it has only three electron now okay when four will make bond with three so it means that it is not becoming octate so what will happen the place where the fourth valence electron is missing it is electron hole electron hole mean there remain it is remaining uh, hole positive hole and electron from the neighbor atom can come and fill the electron hole there can any other electron will come and it will fill that hole and but in doping so it would leave an electron hole at it or its original position if it happen it would appear as an electron hole and moved uh, in the direction opposite to the electron that filled it under that influence what will happen the electric field electron would move toward the positive charges plate and uh, this is forming a type of semiconductor which is called piece type of semiconductor electron difficult defic deficient electron and p type mean p for positive positive charges okay so dear students here i want to just tell you it is difficult one it is one of the drawback of chemistry we cannot show you everything in front of you I mean you need to imagine see how we can show you electron how we can show you the electron is making bond how we can show the electron is feeding uh, overlapping with the other electron so you need to imagine electron is revolving four electrons are there other four electrons are coming from uh, group 15 and they are going to be make bond one electron is free like this way when you will imagine the your learning is becoming interesting your learning is becoming easy and once you will uh, you are taking interest you are going to be understand you are taking interest and once interest is there obviously everything is easy so application of semiconductor application of n type and p type semiconductor. diode is a combination of n type and p type you have heard in about diode in physics also it is n type and p type semiconductor and is used as a rectifier transistor are made by sandwiching a layer of one type of semiconductor between two layer of the other type of semiconductor like npn pnp mean npn mean one is on the top layer is of n type then p type then n type n type is you know very well it is electron deficient p type is electron rich then electron deficient like this when we know the transistor is working or second is p and p type p mean uh, positive then negative positive type of transistor are used to detect or amplify radio audio signal the solar cell is an efficient photodiode used in conversion of light energy into electric energy once you will come to know the main basic of this topic then you will uh, obviously know the what is in the radio what is in audio signal what is in photodiode solar okay so this was all about the electric now second type of property is magnetic property of solids in which every substance has some magnetic property associated with it the origin of these property lies in electrons basically Basically, each electron in an atom behave like a tiny magnet. Its magnetic moment originated from two type of motion. One is its orbital motion around the nucleus. Orbital motion around the nucleus. You know about the atom. Nucleus in the center. Electron revolve around the nucleus. Okay, that motion we are talking about. Second, it spin around its own axis. In last year also in uh, quantum number you have studied anti spin and uh, spin clockwise and anti-clockwise so that spin is also there it means that it is rotation so electron being a charged particle and undergoing these motion can be considered as a small loop of current which poses uh, magnetic moment thus each electron has a permanent spin and okay and uh, uh, magnitude of this magnetic moment and uh, very small and is measured in the unit called Bohr magnet magneton 
so on the basis of their magnetic property substance can be classified into five categories so paramagnetic diamagnetic ferromagnetism antiferromagnetism and ferrimagnetism magnetic so let's discuss one by one paramagnetism paramagnetic substances are weakly attracted by a magnetic field weakly attracted you need to underline this word weakly attracted by a magnetic field those substance which is weakly attracted by a magnetic field is called paramagnetism they are magnetized in a magnetic field in the same direction they lose their magnetism in the absence of magnetic field the moment magnetic field is lost they will lose the magnetism and this is due to the presence of one or more unpaired electron which are attracted by magnetic field as in case of oxygen copper 2 positive iron 3 3 positive chromium 3 positive are some example of such substances second diamagnetism diamagnetism is uh, uh, opposite it is weakly repelled by a magnetic field like h2o nacl c6h6 and some example of such substances they are weakly magnetized in magnetic field in opposite direction diamagnetism is shown by those substances in which all the electron are paired and there are no unpaired electron pairing there are no unpaired electron it is opposite to paramagnetism there were some unpaired electron here no unpaired electron pairing of electron cancel their magnetic moment and they lose their magnetic character okay so ferromagnetism is third type of magnetism a few substances like iron cobalt nickel or uh, uh, chromium oxide are attracted very strongly by a magnetic field such substances are called ferromagnetism substance here strongly attracted by third type of first paramagnetism was weakly attracted diamagnetic weakly repelled this is strongly attracted by magnetic field such substances are called ferromagnetism and uh, it is besides strong attraction these substances can be permanently magnetized in solid state the metal ions are ferromagnetism in substance in nature that is uh, why it is because of the domain domain are what it is a small region small group so thus each domain act as a tiny magnet it is an unmagnetized piece of ferromagnetism substance domain are randomly oriented and their magnetic moment are cancelled when the substance is placed in a magnetic field all the domains get oriented in the direction of the magnetic field and a strong magnetic effect is produced so let's discuss about the different dom domain different types of ferromagnetic domain first is ferrimagnetism ferry that is that was ferro this is ferry ferrimagnetism is observed when the magnetic moment of the domain in the substance are aligned in parallel and anti parallel direction one up one down one up one down okay so that type of uh, arrangement is called ferrimagnetism they are weakly attracted as ferromagnetism are strongly attracted to so ferrimagnetism is weakly attracted by magnetic field as comparison to ferromagnetic like uh, iron oxide is the example magnetite is the example ferrites like uh, magnetism magnetism magnetite is example so these substances also lose ferromagnetism on heating and become paramagnetic second is anti ferromagnetism substance like magnesium uh, magnesium oxide showing anti ferromagnetism anti word is there so opposite it is similar uh, to ferromagnetic substance but their domain are opposite oriented okay and uh, cancel out each other's magnetic moment so uh, this is uh, all about the uh, electric and magnetic field so whatever whatever we did today let's conclude we did properties of solid electrical properties in the basis of conductivity conductor insulator semiconductor types of semiconductor we did n type p type magnetic property we did paramagnetic diamagnetic ferromagnetism okay and uh, after that uh, we have done the different type of domain of ferromagnetic that is paramagnetic uh, sorry uh, ferromagnetism anti ferromagnetism and ferromagnetism okay hope so you understood today's topic just discuss uh, just study this is very simple it is actually in theory way only okay so once you will read one in one reading you can understand okay so with this our this chapter is also finish and now tomorrow and day after tomorrow i will see the your weak point i will take and i want to make different way some different uh, strategies okay hope so you will understand everything so all the best and uh, start doing the review uh, this uh, exercise of this chapter and whatever question you are not able to solve you just free you are free to ask me okay so this is all about today so thank you and have a nice day so till next video stay home stay safe and take care yourself take care your family and keep watching these videos okay thank you have a nice day